We're about uh, six hours into it. Uh, probably about halfway. So between two and three feet. I probably got about a foot right now. Time to go to work. Worked like a charm. That's good for the first part of the snowstorm. Mama can get in the driveway after working the night shift and uh, I'll hit it again later. Oh, winter. Yeah. up my Honda. We got about, uh, I don't know, 28, 30 inches, something around there they're saying. And uh, I'm glad I had that machine with the four wheel drive. I got stuck in the backyard going down the hill. I went to go turn around and I remembered it, it has that diff pedal. You can lock the rear differential. And uh, then I was able to get out. But other than that, I think it works awesome. So, I'm going to let thaw out in the uh, garage I'll leave the heat on for a little while but I figure we'll go hop in the truck the trucks warmed up we'll go take a little ride around town and see what it looks like well. some people are out some people uh, are gonna wait till it's uh, kind of gone by Ooh, that sounds good so we got about uh, again 28 30 inches of snow and uh, it's light though, so it's fairly easy to move. It's not uh, taxing on your equipment, you know. I try to find see if there's anything on the main drag opening and get a bite to eat. Worked up an appetite. So yeah, I had to uh, clear out the driveway. I had to get out there about 6:30, 7 o'clock, because uh, the wife wife worked the overnight shift and. Uh, I had to make sure she was able to get back in the driveway with that uh, that four foot crest on the end there, you know. You try to blast through it, but more than likely you're going to get high centered on it and be stuck there and then have to deal with that. So I went out in the middle of a blizzard and uh, did the first pass of the storm. It was probably about 14 on the ground, 14, 18, something like that. And it's kind of winding down now. There's a couple little bands still going through, so we might get, you know, two or three more on top of it. Actually, my defrost on a little bit. There we go. Go for a 
cheeseburger. It's not easy trying to hold the camera steady. Big machines working over there at uh, Staples. They get those piles 30, 40 feet in the air. Let's see what we got. There's a bunch of uh, like Burger Kings and McDonald's and that kind of stuff down about a mile away. So I figure uh, that'd probably be my best bet to see what they got. Ah, you suck. Yeah, I'll turn you back on in a second. Got some bare spots. Some of the buildings are lit up too, so that's a good sign. I don't see no, actually no. I don't see a car in any of the parking lots. But uh, up over the hill here is a couple of fast food places and we'll see if any of those are open for a uh, a late breakfast, we'll call it. I got a couple of frozen pizzas for dinner tonight, but uh, I'd like to try to find something now. I think it's uh, what's it? it's 4:20. <laughs> Gran Mexico is open. All the plow trucks are there. Hamley Donuts is not, but we're gonna try to go for a. Uh, Hafner's up here has uh, awesome burgers. And if they're open, they'll be a good place to get. Well, it's not looking good either. I don't see any cars there. Burger King's dead. We'll go for. Uh, there's a Wendy's and a Mickey D's up here. We'll go check those two out. And if not, we're going to spin around and uh, go hit where those trucks are right there. See if we can go get. Uh, In Mexico. Uh, Duncan's open. All right. And Wendy's. Wendy's isn't looking good. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna go spin around and go hit the one place that was open. Our track stuck. That's happening on me in the backyard with a tractor. <laughs> I'll get it. He's done. Waving us on. Gotta find some place to spin around. I think I just drove over a curb. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna shut you down when I get squared away here. 